So over the past weeks, when Goda literally screwed it up with a Twitter post that basically was quite disliked by the community, and well, actually not only that, but also a lot of people was being blocked for expressing different opinions, even developers of the engine that were actively contributing to the project, and even some donators. So this actually caused people to start uh, forking the engine, as Godot is open source, you can basically take the whole source code and create your, let's say, your own engine. And well, the main two options were, or actually are, Redot and Blasium, okay? Redot officially now has a, a release, okay? And Blasium, uh, pretty soon probably it is going to be having, or at least at the moment that I'm recording uh, this video on Sunday, October 27th, because maybe they release soon a, a version. And well, over the past also few days, I have been covering uh, minute to minute, day by day, everything that has been happening. And well, I am not going to be able to find the comments, but there were a lot of people asking, okay, uh, with all these forks, um, is it going to be able to actually uh, use the exact same Goro tutorials or uh, new tutorials are going to be needed? Once again, I can't find these comments exactly. Um, because there are actually, like, as you can see, hundreds and hundreds of comments in each video. So it is quite difficult to actually find the ones that I'm mentioning. So what I actually want to show you is the fact that, yes, the short answer uh, until right now is that, yes, you can indeed use the exact same tutorials. Because these forks are super new. They just have a couple of weeks uh, been existing. Uh, so we don't have that much new stuff. Uh, so if we go ahead and, for example, download Redot. Um, I'm going to open it right away and you will see that everything is just the exact same thing as Godot, okay? So the, the only thing that is different is basically the interface, okay? That has this kind of a red theme. But if I go ahead and basically create a brand new project, I will call this one Red Dot Project. And for example, I will save it on my downloads over there. It is going to basically be the exact same thing as you would. So the thing is that literally everything is the exact same thing. You have this new horizon color, but it's not like a, a big deal. It's the exact same thing, everything else. So technically you would be able to, for example, create here a brand new to the scene, call it main, save it, attach a brand new script. And for example, let me zoom in a little bit. And for example, we'll be able to call the ready function and just print here, hello there, okay? And if I wait here a second, here I have my game window, I have my message, and everything is just working the same way that it would be done in Godot. And well, in Blasium, the exact same thing happens. The only thing different until now is the fact that we have a brand new logo and different colors. But the uh, interface is the exact same one. I will super quickly create a brand new project. And by the way, as you saw, uh, Blasium in their website, they don't have like a download button because their release is pending. Once again, in, in this day that I'm recording this video. Uh, but well, uh, there is a way of uh, right now installing Blasium. I have uploaded a video on that if you want to check it out. But anyway, here we are in Blasium. Once again, it is the exact same thing. We also have the new horizon color. And the interface is also uh, different, okay? The, the colors. But um, the way of attaching scripts, creating notes, scenes, etc. is the exact same one. So once again, I will be able to call here the ready function and basically print here a uh, hello there. And as you can see there, I have my game window and I have the message. So yes, indeed, you would be able to follow any kind of tutorial, even in, in Redot, in Blasium, and until now, it is going to be the exact same thing. However, the thing may slightly change throughout time. Because as, a, as it has been mentioned um, throughout the creation of these forks and throughout the different weeks, what I want to do is to keep parity between, uh, between Godot okay, and between the different forks. What does it mean to keep parity? That the engines are going to be more or less the exact same thing, but the difference is going to be um, in, two, in two things, okay? Um, firstly, in the fact that they are going to be implementing super small features, okay? That maybe were either requested by the community, were being requested for the community, by the community for a long time, or that they thought that uh, they could be worth implementing, such as this horizon color. 
And uh, on the other hand, another thing that, that they are going to be doing is basically uh, fixing some stuff or even adding stuff that have been that has been requested for the community for a long time and that maybe uh, either wasn't heard like by the main go to developers or contributors or by by literally any reason they weren't merged into the official release but well once again this is the beginning uh, of these engines um and as time goes by they are they are saying that they are probably going to implementing their own features okay uh, so when that happens, uh, probably it is going to take a couple of weeks, months even, uh, to, to start having some uh, big difference between Godot and Redot and Blastium or whatever other fork may appear. Um, so when there are, when actually more features start being um, released in any of the forks and when there is actually becoming to uh, be a lot of difference between Godot and Redot. Maybe just then we are going to be needing specific tutorials on any fork. But I think that for that, it is going to just pass a lot, a lot of time. So yes, right now, do not really worry about the differences. Use Godot, use Redot, use Blasium, use any other fork that you may want. Because until now, until today, they are super, super similar uh, to each other. I hope that this video has been helpful and if so, consider subscribing to the channel. I am always uploading the latest content and information on this topic.